Hey everyone, another FFT Arena matchup coming at your way. And this time on top, we're going to be showcasing um, <clears throat> Muroth's newest team, finally making his debut, known as, a, I believe it's the Polka Party. Yeah, the Polka Party. And on bottom, it's um, Rony Elmdor's newest team, known as the Hippie Bong Group. <laughs> Alright, starting off with Muroth here, we got Weird AI the Mediator, uh, Lolly Tuma the Monk, Leak the Monk, and time travel, the time age. Well, for starters, this is basically a team that has 10 speed across the board. Um, this mediator has seal evil and weapon break. Has a glacier gun and kaiser place, so he's going to be doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, Auto shell, to help him out with because of his high faith. He doesn't have pilgrimage, he has move HP up. He's looking for more durability than damage, so I guess that's fair. For Talk Skill, he comes with, I think, Refute, Mimic Derivon, and I believe Death Sentence. I, I, I believe those are the Talk Skills he's sporting. Um, you know, Weapon Break can be nice to go up against uh, physical heavy teams if they have, like, whatever weapon of any kind and they're relying on PA. They're kind of screwed if Weapon Break does hit. Um, what complements that setup is these two sets of clones here. PA save monks with defense up, move MP up. They're designed to just simply do polka polka dance, which decreases an enemy's PA by one should it hit. Um, interesting setup, I guess. Uh, 60 Brave, they're not really meant to do damage, they're just meant to kind of um, dance along. They both carry Spin Fist, which I guess is okay. Um, just martial arts aren't really, really going to do much. Which, I mean, I'm sorry, without martial shards, it's not really going to do much. Although, I don't think that's the point of Maroth's unit. I think the point of his two of his monks is just simply wither away the enemy's PA and making it easier for them to um, survive with defense up. And it can trick a PA save. And I guess Chakra can heal for a little bit more. That's, that's what I'm looking at here. And the time age here with Haste 2, Slow 2, um, Sinkhole, and Demi. Typical time ma time ma time mage spells, bleh. and she has um, the black robe for enhancing damage with, um, I believe, Rambu, Shiva, and Salamander. Because Salamander takes a little bit longer to cast, but it hits a wider AOE um, group of people, and short charge obviously complement that setup. MP restore, so that way she we can set. She can restore her own MP. I believe she should have um, Carbunco as well. I mean, that'd be a good idea to put on a unit that does not rely on move MP up. I mean, yeah, these two monks can heal with Chakra, but the Chakra ain't gonna really do much. Um, this mediator has best compat with all three of these girls. So, uh, yeah. Should be very interesting. Uh, the two monks are undead, too, so. No need for the time age to like um, heal or revive these monks. She has best compat with his mediator, so Mugo and Fairy should have very high chances of healing up this mediator should he go down. So good stuff. And um, Finger Guard, I guess for lack of better options, or just um, you know, just for sake of fulfilling the JP. But Finger Guard can be randomly useful. It can lower the chances of Tox Scale hitting this mediator, so I can see where he would go for that. Uh, so yeah, interesting idea Marathi got going on here. We'll see how that works out. It gets a team that is kind of halfway heavy, but halfway M magic too. For Roni Elmdor, he has Speed Junkie, the Thief. Cannabis Farmer, the Geomancer. Acid Cloud, the Samurai. And Dumb Groupie, the Priest. These are all references to marijuana smokers or, or drug users. Um, we're going to start off with a thief here. Um, I know you wanted him to have counter, but you gave him, uh, you, you spread out your JPUs a little bit too far. Like, um, thief, you know every class takes 250 JP to unlock. So with every class you're unlocking, you're adding more JP. Before you can reach to the 3000 limits, which is why you had to readjust it like I told you so. This is an undead thief nonetheless though, with two swords, short, short edge with the can proc oil. And coral sword for extra damage with water. It can also trigger water ball. Um, nice setup. 
12 speed, so he's going to be pretty fast. He's undead. Um, Flat costs him to obviously cover the fire weakness from the curse drain. It's one of the most uh, open, overused setups, but it is very effective. Uh, punch art for the Sigma Magic Chakra Revive. You know how those go. The Geomancer here with White Magic only has Cure 2 and Raise 2. Um, if you're concerned about Asuna, like status removal, you could trade Raise 2 for Raise and Asuna, because Raise and Asuna combined equals to 300 JP. Uh, Overwhelm, bit of an odd choice for Geomancy. I think Magic Attack Up might be better, because you are sporting Geomancy. 180 gems to pretty much, uh, uh, what you call it, to enhance the damage done by, with Elemental. Still, he has the right amount of PA and MA for this, so he should be doing some really good damage. Really, really good damage. Samurai, also support an elemental. Overwhelm makes a little bit more sense this time on her because, at least with that, she can heal more with Murasame. And, um, and she can hurt more with the uh, Kotetsu, kind of flood, to basically, um, in randomly inflict status effects, just like this Geomancer could. Um, although the Samurai might not be do- won't be doing as much elemental damage as the Geomancer would, but... She does make a se good secondary elemental user. Otherwise, if you know how to, uh, to you know, stack the PA and MA correctly, which I think you did, which I think you did pretty much here. And finally, the priest with uh, gold staff to remove uh, any buffs, damage split, so that way um, she can survive a hit and then damage split right back at them. She has auto shell and defense up. Makes her pretty tanky, actually. Really tanky. She should have the the uh, the usual white magic stuff, except with the Suna. Uh, she only has haste two for time magic. Um, still, I think uh, it, it'd be interesting to see if um, I don't. Yeah, the mediator and the time mage can have water unless oil kicks in from this thief. That's going to be interesting, and these two elemental users may um, may put Meroth in the run here if they keep inflicting status effects. Of course, Meroth does have two Poco Pokers, so that's going to re decrease the amount of damage his thief can do, and the amount of Geomancy damage these two can do. That's pretty much all Poco Pokers going to be able to uh, do for the most part, really. Still, otherwise, it should be very interesting to see what happens. We're going to be going to map... Uh, 84, which is Barius Hill. So, we shall see what happens here. We got Maroth in the red, and Roni Elmdor in the green. And oh yay, quickening. See, Mediator would do nothing right now, and the two monks are going to start dancing. And Time Age in perfect position for a Haste 2. Now that's an example, ladies and gentlemen, of how to set up Haste 2 properly. Have all your allies move first, not too far ahead. And then, when Haste 2 comes along, you can get three quarters if not all your team. PA save once again on the Monk. And where they I will go for a gunshot on the Samurai. That could have triggered Petrify. And immediately with Thief Half and the Shut Tamson. Ooh, Poka Poka hitting um three units, I think it looked like. Let's see, Time Age. Goes for a demi. A demi heal. Actually pretty nice. Thief dodges that one. Acid Cloud will go for Katetsu. Healing and damage at the same time. Geomancer will go for a raise two. As well with his priest. But both monks. Do have low faith, and I think there might be bad compat somewhere too. Ooh, seal evil from the mediator. Very nice. Very good way to uh, get rid of undead. Demi hits. Raise two goes off on one monk, but not the other one. However, Samurai does have Marisame. That's why overwhelm with Marisame is so good. You can do a lot more. Uh, with Murasame healing with Overwhelm as you could with Magic Attack Up. 
But magic attack up does boost uh, draw damage better. See another counter flood? No petrify proc. So Melroth is kind of at an advantage right now. He does draw move. 105 damage, not too bad. Though not exactly high either, either with the elemental strengthening. Then again, time mages do a pretty low low MA. And they're just known for their speed, really. See, ooh, petrified proc after the counter flood. That was pretty nice. Raise who does connect. Oh, there is bad compact going around because refute hits to get rid of the petrified as well as haste, but a small price to pay for Malroth, actually. I was just gonna say, there is bad compact between Elmdor's team and Malroth's team because Libra and Cancer Capricorn do have back and pat one another. Yeah, Libra and Ares do have back and pat with uh, Capricorn and Cancer. Just for those that are wondering. Alright, Leak gets right back up. He's gonna be looking for more Poka Poka. Elmdor is still at a 4 on 3 disadvantage. And, he have, and because um, neither Geomancer or the Priest of Asuna, there's no way he can remove the um, Petrified Brock. No stop proc from Hell Ivy. Raise two. Misses. Yeah, the odds are pretty low. Poke Poke hitting the Geomancer and the Samurai, which is good. Which means, uh. Ooh, Kutetsu drop in the Time Age. Which means, uh, low Geomancy damage. Because we don't even think about it, um, Poke Poke is good against most offensive teams. Even in teams that use Geomancy. Just rather irrelevant on mage teams. No counter flood for the samurai. It, if the samurai or the GMS can somehow put the status effect. Yeah, see like there, 50 damage. That samurai is doing like maybe 70 something earlier. Now she was only to do 50 damage with Geomancy. GMS gets right back up. And Chakra making sure the time mage does not drop. Ooh, MP Restore actually does trigger. Let's see. Dumb Groupies will go for another raise too. 55%, pretty low. Samurai does not go down. And Time Age, I believe, is looking for Moogle. Yep. Raise 2 misses again. Elmdor is really having a hard time dealing with uh, Maroth's team. Mediator does nothing again. Time Age, I believe, is looking for a haste too. Let's see, this monk's gonna go for a spin fist. Count of flood, no stop proc. I don't think this I I don't know if this monk could be a flip stop. I don't think so. Oh his right. See a counter flood and Kotetsu dropping the time age 134 damage, which isn't bad, even with bad compat. But it's still not great either. I'm sure nothing that uh, Elmdor was, was hoping for. See, this Geomancer has got to hang back, so he's looking for another raise, too. Really, he's only hoping taking down these undead monks. Spin Fist is hitting two people. Race 2 misses again. They might be better off going for Cure Spells. However, the monks with PA save mean their... Um, their melee shots are going to hit even harder. Kotetsu dropping Time Age once again. And Revive missed that time. And another 100% raise 2. Counter Flood, no stop rock. Yeah, Counter Flood's gonna do even more, less and less damage. And that Samurai should have went right next to the Undead Monk and go for a Mirasama, because she can at least damage it. But then again, she doesn't want to trigger PA save either. So, there's like a constant 4 on 3. And the Spin Fist, no Petrify proc. Oh, the, the Monk can't get Petrified because of the uh, Chakra Band. Very clever. 
And race two misses again. Wow, back and pat is really biting Elmdor in the ass here. There's another another uh, Salamander or Leviathan's coming up. And Spinfist just drops that Geomancer. See no stop proc. And Wow, Katetsu can reach that far, Jesus. I mean, I know it has a uh, three AOE, but oh, there's a petrified proc in the mediator. There it is. Oh, but never mind, Stigma Magic. Meron coming definitely well prepared against um, status effects. And Hell Ivy does drop the time age. Geomancer gets. He's, he's, he's trying to pull that raise too. Oh, and revive missed. Samurai goes down. Mediator is really keeping uh, Elmdor Elmdor busy here with those uh, damage split. Uh, with those really high powered gunshots. Raise two does finally drop the undead monk. Raise two picks up the samurai. Revive does finally pick up the time age. And Weird AI will have to go for another gunshot. Counter Flood, no Petrified proc this time. Another raise two, but it misses. Those little odds are really hurting uh, Elmdor big time here. And Katetsu once again. And Revive once again. This is going to be a bit of a loop. That we're you're gonna be seeing here. Not even a stop rock. Let's see, Priest gonna be looking for a haste two on the samurai. It might be helpful. And Katetsu, once again, dropping the time age. This is going to go on for a while, guys. Really, for a long while. And let's see. Look, Quake. Not going to do much. PA saves is going to be going off all over the place here. Let's see, kind of flood. Oh, petrified proc here. Okay. Things might get interesting from here on then now. Thief is petrified. Meteor is petrified. Time Mage is going to be going down. All there is left really just those two monks. Could Elmdor be stealing this win here? If they could just simply, you know, keep withering away the monks with Geomancy, then hopefully the priest can get a, ruck, a lucky raise two in. Then I think Elmdor might have round one. Poco Poco, though, has done so much to wither down um, uh, Elmdor's offensive attack power that these monks can just tank it away, no problem. That priest has got to really. Literally get lucky with a race too. And more than once as well. Because these PA saves are just eventually just start stacking up. So Yeah, but without martial arts though, it's gonna take a really long time for these monks to actually do something here. Count Flood can can't even, um, can't even put these monks in the sandbag mode. They can just tank it away. More PA save, which is not what Elmdor wants. I think Elmdor is, I think Elmdor is still at a great advantage. Because the more PA saves are stacked up on these monks, the more, um, the more trouble there is going to be for Elmdor. Because... Even Bagwise do inflict random da damage still. PA saves are going off. And that's what's going to matter in the end. And all Geomancy is right now is just chip damage. 
145 damage that time. Shocker once again from the monk, uh, from one of the Elm Dwarves monks. Another spin fist, another 145 damage worth. So that samurai is gonna be going down. Oh, never mind, never mind, Murasame. All right, now she needs to nail this race too, and she missed. Oh, bad compat, bad compat, man. This is what happens. PA save once again. And Geomancy is going to do even less damage now. Oh, Sigma Magic. That monk was just right there to go for the Sigma Magic. Yeah, I think Elmdor screwed here. Big time he's screwed. Because now the Mediator can help pick off um, um, Elmdor's units from Malroth. Spin fits do 153 damage. Not too bad. There you go. That's what you need to do. That's what the Samurai needs to do. Hit those 180 plus damage Murasame. She can two shot these monks if maybe maybe even three shot them if possible. I mean that's what the samurai should do against the undead monks. Priest, meanwhile, is still still trying here. You know, it makes me wish that um these monks would carry Well, then, then again, Secret Fist. Um Units with defense range can easily block Secret Fist. I was going to say, I hope they carry death sentence, but they don't. Well, I, I think the Mediator does. He does have Mimic Derivon. But because the Priest does have... No, wait, she does not have a defense ring. What am I saying? She has Cisat Tamsin. So, hopefully... Yeah, 29 damage. Wow, that's very low. Very low Glacier Gun damage. Holy shit. That Mediator simply needs to nail a status effect. That's all it's really going to take. And that should be the end of round one. But he's not going for that. Instead, he's trying to finish off the priest with as much hard-hitting, um... Uh, PA save spin fist and glacier gunshots as he can. Raise two on the samurai, oh boy. Oh, not going to happen. Finally, Malroth takes round one. We'll see what happens in round two. And we are now set for round two as this match is taking place at map 35, Zalin 4 City. It took Melroth a very long time to put away Elmdor's team, but he was able to do it with um, the monks just building PA and keep taking them out with Spin Fist. So with this being a bit of a larger map than last time, because Barrier's Hill, even if, so it had a gap in between the two teams. This one is just a little bit more distance-wise. So, Haste 2 from um, Elmdor's Priest. Uh, Speed Junkie will do nothing right now. Weird AI will go for a gunshot. No counter flood. Raise 2. Actually hits. Elmdor's been missing a lot of Raise 2s in round 1. And Poco Poco Dance just hit one unit that was relevant. And the other unit that was not so relevant. Haste, uh, slow two. Yeah, slow two canceling the haste. And quick chakra from the feet. Thief. Yeah. Detective. Doesn't drop the time age. And we're gonna see what one raise two on, on um, from the priest under the undead monk, but oh, Mimic Derbon only puts the Geomancer to sleep. The thief can get rid of it with um, super magic though. Now, taking that point of PA away from the Thief, that's pretty big. Because now the Thief is less of a threat. As long as Poco Poco just keeps hitting. We see one more race 2 from the Priest. Can the Mediator cancel it? He does with the Berserk. So, smart move right there from Melroth. 
And Poker Poker. Not doing a whole lot. Geomancer does wake up to get into the Rambu damage. He's going to go for one more race, too. And Deeps resort to healing instead of attacking. See, Weird AI will go forward and take out the Geomancer before he can hit that race, too. Berserk Priest is going to take away the haste, but I don't think that's going to matter too much at this point. That Berserk may have shut um, Roni Elmdor down. Pretty much completely. He revive the uh, damage to the Undead Thief. That's pretty humorous. See we've missed. And yeah, the thief is just resort to reviving and healing instead of attacking. Which is what Melroth wants, actually. See, no don't move prog after the car model. And the mediator being good at anti-sandbag. One more point of PA taken away from the thief. Again, not only is it decreasing his physical melee damage, but it's also um, decreasing his chances of hit revival because that skill is dependent on uh, the on the use of PA. So that's why the odds are just getting lower and lower. Sleep on the samurai now. Speed junkie gets one more point of speed, but also loses a point of PA. See, Spin Fist doing nothing. Revive just got the time age right back up. And Seal Evil does hit the thief. And with lack of a Sasuna, um, Roni Elmdor is pretty much finished. Count kind of Flood actually killing the, uh, the time age there. And Spin Fist once again. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, guys, before, uh, Murath does indeed win this match. Here too from the Geoman onto himself and the priest. Timage gets revived once again. Looks like Demi's gonna Oh, get blocked. Now Flood, Time Age is dead. Crit shot, and Spin Fist take, takes out the Geomancer. And yeah, uh, Roni Umdor now has no revival. Yeah, not much else to really say, except... Um, so sooner or later, the samurai and the priest will go down. It is just simply a matter of time. PA save again. And more polka polka. Alright, Samurai went down. I believe it was thanks to the Mediator. Sorry, I wasn't... I had to take a look at something. And the Priest is almost down. Just one more melee shot. Now it's going to be one more melee shot and she and she's done for. Alright, that's it. Maroth wins two in a row. GG.